Batman from Crabman Gaming here, and today I am playing WWE 2K14, the 30 years of WrestleMania mode, and we are up to WrestleMania 29, The Undertaker, putting his streak on the line, currently 20-0 against CM Punk. From Chicago, New WWE Champion CM Punk. Punk held the WWE title for 434 consecutive days. Lost the title to The Rock at Royal Rumble. Then turned his attention to The Undertaker and ever since his actions have been downright despicable. Now, Punk made no friends in the WWE Universe with his endings leading up to this match. Punk has disrespected The Undertaker's legacy and stole his property. CM Punk has made his bed, and now, folks, he must lie in it. We've got lots of matches on this card. The Miz defeating Wade Barrett by submission with a figure four leg lock in the pre-show to become Intercontinental Champion with loser back to Barrett the very next night on Raw. The Shield made their debut with Dean Ambrose, Roman Reigns, and Seth Rollins defeating the Big Show, Randy Orton, and Sheamus. Mark Henry defeated Ryback. Team Hell No with Daniel Bryan and Kane retained against Big E and Dolph Ziggler. Fandango defeated Chris Jericho, the highlight of his career. Alberto Del Rio retained against Jack Swagger. He used to love that music. And then we got the three matches. We're going to play. Take a part, Triple H knows my Cena. He is 20 and 0 at WrestleMania. Tonight is not about 21 and 0. It's about vengeance. Tonight, CM Punk has his hands full with a very angry and determined Undertaker. And that's the worst thing in the world for CM Punk. I mean, the Undertaker retired Shawn Michaels and he respected him. What is he going to do to a guy like CM Punk? The Undertaker has been on the receiving end of mind games, sneak attacks, and outright disrespect from CM Punk. This won't resemble a wrestling match, in my opinion. Tonight, it's going to be a slaughter. That's right, JR. Tonight, The Undertaker can finally shut up CM Punk, defend his legacy, and extend his streak to 21-0. This would be the very last time The Undertaker would successfully defend or retain the streak. He would go 21 and 1. To look into his cold dead eyes before finally being bested by the beast Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 30 in a match that was horribly disappointing as The Undertaker got concussed very early on in the match. I didn't even think there was any chance Undertaker could lose because I had to record it and then I was halfway through that match the next morning when I had to leave and I thought, oh, it's okay, Undertaker's just going to win. So I left and I left it the whole day and then someone spared it for me. So I didn't even get to experience the moment when the streak was broken for myself. Someone told me what happened. Very disappointing. But then he would go on to defeat Bray Wyatt at the following year's WrestleMania. And then Shane McMahon before losing to Roman Reigns. And I think everyone thought that that was going to be the end. CM Punk looking to end the legendary WrestleMania streak. The Undertaker looking for all this porous the worst. A disrespectful challenger. Well, CM Punk has made it very clear that he doesn't He's a Paul Heyman guy along with Curtis Axel. Punk would be happy with a count out. He was a Paul Heyman guy. What of objectives CM Punk has shown a complete and utter lack of respect in relation to the Undertaker. Punk's gone over the line a good taste, and he may play a very oh, steep He's wearing that purple gear. Oh, no. I want to hit that from leg drop. It's one thing to play mind games with your opponent, but I think CM Punk and Paul Heyman have pushed the Undertaker to the darkest place mentally that he's ever been. Where CM Punk stole the urn, entered the urn, entered the ashes all over CM Punk. It was just after Paul Bearer had passed away as well. I think the previous year 
Here's the Hell's Gate. This is better than the time when Undertaker squashed CM Punk in Hell in a Cell when Punk was the world champion and Undertaker beat him in about nine minutes, barely using the cell at all. That was pretty disappointing. That was in 2009. I think that was when CM Punk complained about being asked to wear a suit between events and he said, well, John Cena doesn't have to. And uh, some people weren't very happy about it. But that's just a rumor and anyway. It's time for Hell's Gate. It's the Gogo Carter. It is the Gogo Carter. The longer we hold him in, the more critical he gets. He's been in this for a long time. He's been in the Hell's Gate a long time. It's safe to say that CM Punk is getting exactly what he deserves. Oh, you can see the pain in their eyes from that vicious chop. Old school from CM Punk. He's wearing the purple stars. Contribute to the Undertaker's original purple tie and gloves. Oh, master manipulator. Paul Bearer has the purple tie on. Oh no, you're in trouble now, CM Punk. Oops, I've come the wrong way. <laughs> Got a big dive into the corner. Forget that CM Punk got the WWE title for well over a year. He defeated all challengers and believes he was not given the respect that he thinks he deserves. 2012 may have been Punk's year, but it's 2013, and right now, Punk is facing The Undertaker at WrestleMania. Right now, title reigns don't mean anything. What an amazing counter that was. A kick. He's showing signs of life. This contest is just so physical. Oh, that comeback. All right, another choke slam. We need to hit two tombstones. Choke slam. And CM Punk. Man, jeez. He sees it. We've got the wake up taunt going. Undertaker's looking for some massive injury. I thought I had to use with Edge, but it was running, so he ended up really close. He's not getting up after I hit a tombstone and win, I can definitely do it. Ever top of it. The Undertaker utilizes those. Oh no! Those crowdings being hit in the guts. There's another one. Maybe CM Punk pins me in. Might be a bit damaged. Ooh, hard With technical Undertaker. ability, CM Punk, so he does counter a lot of your moves. This is probably the highest counter rate of anyone I've come across. There we go, signature time. Uh -oh, it may be time. It's time for the last ride. It is CM Punk's last ride. Into a tombstone. Get close to the rope, I'm a bit worried about the rope spinning. Pin him, pin him. And it's over. The Undertaker's victorious. He goes 21 and 0. The winner of this match, The Undertaker. Can you say 21 and 0? Year after year after year. Opponent after opponent after opponent. The will and the perseverance of the most incredible performer in wrestling.
WrestleMania history. The Undertaker is 21 and 0 at WrestleMania. It's the holy grail of win streaks, JR. It's the great.